Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to create uh, textures with transparency in Autodesk Maya and we'll be using Photoshop for that as well. So I'm going to start by creating a polyplane and scaling it larger. It doesn't matter what size, something like that. And as we know from previous uh, texture labs, um, but I'll go ahead and refresh your memory. If I go to Persp UV Editor under the Saved Layouts under the Panels tab, and I click on my object one more time. You can see if I turn on shaded display that my UVs are already laid out for my polyplane perfectly in a square because the polyplane is basically just a square. So from here I already know that I can create a texture at the sizes of multiples of four so like uh, 256 by 256, 512 by 512, 1024 by 1024, 2048 by 2048, and that's all in pixel sizes. So it all depends on um, what you're using the texture for, because the higher uh, resolution the texture, the longer it'll take to render, especially if your scene has a lot of textures in it and it's a complicated scene. So, coming back to this, I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop because I already know the resolution. I don't need to take a UV snapshot of it. So if I open up Photoshop, I downloaded this texture from textures.com. It's just a leaf uh, with transparency in the background. And I'm going to go ahead and do File, New. That gray and white checkerboard means it's uh, basically alpha or transparent or uh, opaque. Um, opacity uh, is zero, so it's like a see-through. Um, image. So I'm going to change my width and my height to 1024 by 1024 and click create. And from here I'm going to press control A to select all, control C to copy, so select all, edit, copy, and then I'm going to go into here, the new file I just created, and control V, and that would be edit, paste. So from here I'm going to do an edit free transform or control T and I'm just going to maximize the size of my uh, UV space and this is really important to know uh, it's like a trick that all 3D modelers, texture artists do and that is uh, by putting objects on an angle inside the square you actually get more room. Um, it's a really neat little trick to maximize your uh, UV space. And when I'm done resizing, I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Now from here, I'm going to file, save scene as, or save as, and I'm going to change it to a PNG, and I'm going to click on leaf diffuse and click save, or name it leaf diffuse and click save and click yes, and click OK. And now back in Maya, I'm going to assign a new material, and I'm going to show you a couple weird little things here. So if I go to Maya and I go to Blend and I attach under my color under File, locate it, and do Leaf uh, da, 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 Diffuse, open, because it's a PNG file you'd think that it's going to be able to see it through transparency. In the sample you see it do this really weird thing with texture stretching kind of thing here and in the viewport with the Blend it doesn't. So that's a really neat little trick. I mean, it has this sort of glass look to it. But if I go down here to eccentricity, bring this down, and my specular roll off down, and my reflectivity, you'll notice that um, it doesn't have that look anymore. So it's just a transparent object, right? Or uh, texture, which is really great and all. However, this will only render in the Arnold, or in the Maya software renderer, not the Arnold renderer. So if you wanted to get more complicated where you have uh, a really nice uh, renderer uh, to create a nice looking scene, um, you're going to need to do a little bit more than this. So I'm going to show you really quickly what would happen. Actually, before I do that, I'll show you really quickly under Arnold, Lights, and Physical Sky. I'm going to select this and just put it on a layer for now. and name it sky light layer and click save and then I'm just going to turn visibility off on it but I'm going to show you really quickly if I bring this up just so we can see it against the sky 
and I turn it back on and do Arnold render you're gonna notice that in this render it doesn't render with that transparent background it has those black edges because it doesn't know how to read it so now we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna duplicate this object drag it over and I'm gonna assign a new material and this time I'm gonna assign an Arnold AI standard surface from here under color under base I'm gonna to go to color and assign a new image the, the the same texture and click open and you're gonna notice just like this one in the sample here you'll notice you get the same exact results here and by default under the blend you'll see it creates a transparency map which is great it's awesome but the Arnold render doesn't know how to read that shader so here on this one you'll notice it has all this weird stretching on it and there's you know almost nothing we can do it at this time yet um, because it doesn't have that sort of transparency thing going on and it's gonna render all weird so with that being said I'm gonna need to create some type of alpha mask for this and the easiest way to do that is in Photoshop I'm gonna go to uh, my new file and I'm going to start by creating a new layer located in the bottom right hand corner where it says create new layer and I'm going to create a new one and then I'm going to use uh, my fill paint bucket tool and the color black and I'm going to paint the background all black now I'm going to bring this black BKG for black background and this will be leaf so now that I've created the back black background I'm going to go ahead and drag it underneath the leaf so I have it layered with the uh, background as my bottom layer. Now the next thing I want to do is with my leaf I want to hold control this is a really neat trick and just click on the little uh, I image icon here next to uh, next to leaf on the layer and you're going to notice it just selects what's on that layer um, just the outer edges of it so it selects everything on there the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to switch to white and using that same paint bucket tool I'm going to click that and paint it white and now I can press control D for deselect and you'll see that I've got this really nice silhouette of my leaf now the next thing I need to do is I need to save this out control shift S I'll save it out as a PNG just to show you leaf alpha mask and save and yes and OK and back in Maya here in my AI standard surface I need to go ahead and go to geometry and it's thin walled I guess since it's a leaf it's a very thin object and then under opacity I'm gonna select here and go to file locate my file uh, leaf alpha mask and click open and now you're gonna see that even in my viewport now in this one I don't see the uh, I, this one's transparent whereas this one is not now in order to see it in the viewport like this under renderer under the viewport 2.0 if I click on the little settings box I can go to transparency algorithm and instead of object sorting I can change it to alpha cut and click select and close and now you'll notice that actually makes it transparent now the problem with this is now although we created the alpha mask and all that other stuff we still can't render it properly oh let me turn on my layer and you'll notice it's still rendering just like this one with the uh, black background right although we added the alpha mask so the next thing I need to do is on here and although we can see it transparent in our viewport we can't see it transparent in our renderer so that's really important to fix don't you think so the last thing I need to do is under my attribute editor under the p-plane shape it's not even under the standard surface the material shader it's under p-plane shape under Arnold click on the opaque and now try to render it oh it 
it won't render because my lights are not visible. And now you'll be able to render it with that transparency that we were looking for. So really cool trick. Um, a bunch of different ways depending on the renderer you're using it could make a big difference. But this one I think I spelled that right. And are totally different even though they look the same in the viewport. So I've got my Leaf Arnold Transparent Mesh, the Leaf Blin Maya Software Transparent. So this one's a lot quicker uh, to create with the Blin and not use the Arnold Renderer. However, this one needs all that, those few extra steps in there. So don't forget, um, under Panels, or under render, under the settings in two, viewport 2.0, you can go ahead and change it from transparency algorithm from object sorting to alpha cut. And then in my attribute editor under Arnold, make sure you change it, uh, click the opaque button so it will know. But you also need to have the uh, opacity map on there, which is this one, the little alpha mask we made. And that's all there is to creating transparent textures in Maya. It can be crazy useful depending on what you're modeling. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a message. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.